here we're going to be making some fish and I'm gonna try a little uh, twist on it. So um, I thought I'd go ahead and film this to see um, if it's something that would be awesome to make. Um, right now I'm just cutting up some broccoli that I'm gonna steam. Also, um, not very often, but on occasion we will have a little bit of rice with our meals. And tonight with the fish, I'm gonna go ahead and do rice as well. And, and it's, then, what kind of rice? Basmati. Basmati white rice. White rice. Um, so I ha actually have that in the microwave uh, cooking right now. That takes a little bit longer. The recipe that I'm going to do next uh, to combat the fish smell, I like to call um, Christmas smell. And it's a recipe that I got online. Um, very simple, very easy to make. So let me just put a little water in this, start steaming these, and then we'll make uh, Christmas next. So first thing for um, Christmas magic is you wanna thinly slice lemon. So I'm just gonna do that now. Um, already, actually today I went out to Walmart and I bought a cheapo pot that I'm just going to use. I actually have another recipe that I'll show you another time that makes your house smell so, so good. Uh, next time we do a fish recipe, I'll make that variation. Um, so I just bought a cheapo pot that I really don't care about. The only thing I'm gonna use it for is to simmer um, potpourri type things. After cutting up the lemon, I'm just gonna put all those slices in. Um, next thing the recipe calls for is uh, the zest of an orange. So I'm gonna go ahead and just zest this orange get that all nice and put in the recipe. Ooh, and it looks so pretty. Now also another thing that it calls for uh, is two quarts of water. One thing that's cool about this concoction is it will last for several days. All you have to do is just keep the water on a warm to a slight simmer and refill the water as needed. After a few days, the orange and the lemon will kind of start to lose their fragrance and so you'll want to just replace it with new. Next in our little concoction it calls for three sprigs of rosemary. How cool is it that I just have that fresh in our home and it looks so pretty in there with all the colors. And the last ingredient is a tablespoon of vanilla. So let's go ahead and add that. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna take this over to the stove top and put it on low and let it just start to simmer and smell our house with Christmas magic. Is there any way we can get the smell on camera? <laughs> That's a good question. No. <laughs> <laughs> By the way, if any of you are now eating basmati rice because you're on phase three or whatever, we have figured out if you have one of these little cookers that if you cook it for five minutes. So with the with one cup of rice, it's a cup and a half of water. Um, we put it on high for five minutes and then 10 minutes at 50% power. It's <laughs> <laughs> just about drop the phone. Um, and this is a handy little thing that uh, I just got from Pampered Chef, which is awesome. I For years and years and years, I just had the little rice cooker that you just fill with the ingredients and then it would just cook the rice itself. And that was awesome too, I really enjoyed that. But this is super easy as well. Very easy cleanup, easy to just pop it in there and worry about your People are gonna things. think you sell Pampered Chef. Because <laughs> you I should sell Pampered Chef, I love it. <laughs> um, next, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get ready um, to do the fish. And today for our fish, I'm using wild caught mahi mahi. Um, but today, to do something a little different, I'm gonna go ahead and add a half a cup of macadamia nuts into that, just to give it a different variety, a different taste. So I'm gonna go ahead and get the pan ready um, with some oil, so we'll head on over to the stove top. So what I'm gonna do is I have organic extra olive virgin oil. We got it at Costco. That looks about good. I mean, just enough to coat the whole bottom of the pan because I do want to give it a feeling of like fried fish. Um, so now I'm going to go ahead and turn on our stove top so that we can kind of get this um, warmed up. I'm going to 
turn it up to six and a half. Um, let that warm up while I'm getting the fish ready. So now I'm gonna go ahead and prepare the breading for the fish. I'm gonna put in about three fourths of a cup since I'm doing four pieces of almond flour. And I just use like one of the gallon bags that I can just get rid of afterwards. I'm gonna go ahead and also put in some salt and some pepper. Um, and then after I get done with this, I'm gonna go ahead and chop up the macadamia nuts. So I'm gonna take out about a half a cup. Well, maybe three fourths of a cup. Do you love how I do that? I'm just like, mm, no, I don't like this much. And I have my little chopper. Where'd you get that chopper? <laughs> So this is super cool because I'm just going to do this. Look how awesome this is. It's still wet from rinsing off from the broccoli. And then turn it like that and then... <laughs> it's so full of nuts. I just want to have them really coarsely chopped up. Yeah, definitely too full. So nice. So I'm just gonna, whoa! Um, there's a couple of spots where there's some bigger chunks. I love these roll up mats because you can just put them right in there. Where can people get those roll up mats? Stop it! <laughs> <laughs> Here's a clue. <laughs> And she really does not sell pampers. Shakes. I really don't. She just goes to a lot of parties. <laughs> I need to have another one, in fact, because there's I, there's always stuff I want. I'm just mixing everything together. So I have opened the fish. I rinsed it off. And uh, another thing I did after I rinsed it off is I just took a paper towel and kind of patted it dry so there wasn't a lot of excess water in there. Um, I'm so excited. I can't remember if I mentioned that I did end up getting the wild caught mahi-mahi at Costco. Um, and I decided I was going to do pistachio nuts in the breading, but I just thought it would be fun to do macadamia since it's kind of a Hawaiian themed sort of entree. Mahi-mahi fish, yeah. Um, now I'm just going to go ahead and just kind of mix everything up. One thing that can be tricky about this is when you're breading chicken, fish, anything, you want to make sure that bag is sealed tight. Double check that. I've done that a few times and had flour and everything go everywhere. Hey, I feel like that's coated pretty well, so I'm just going to take out the individual pieces and go ahead and put them in the frying pan and let them cook. Hey, where'd you get those tongs? In case you haven't figured it out, oh my gosh, this diet, up. this diet, you cook a lot. So if you don't have a lot of cooking stuff, Pamper Chef might be a. You might want to go to a Pamper Chef party. <laughs> and I'm using the tongs to get them out because I want to disrupt that uh, breaded fish coating as little as possible. I'm going to turn it down because that oil has gotten pretty hot in the time that we... Let's turn it down to medium. Or, yeah, five. Okay. Okay, these have been cooking for four minutes on this side, so I'm going to go ahead and flip them over. Careful, because I don't want to pull off the breading. Looks so pretty. And before I completely take these off the grill, because some of these are, dang it, 
some of these are um, definitely thicker than the other pieces, um, we're going to do a new thermometer. And we want to get it to... About 140. 140. Our Christmas magic is smelling amazing. So good to just put your face down in that pot and smell it. Awesome. Well, that's true. If you do stick your face in there, it smells <laughs> <laughs> I was like, that fish is way overpowering that. <laughs> but we'll leave this going on a low temperature for hours and hours, and it's going to smell so, so good. And we're having our neighbor kids come over, and we're going to a Christmas party with them, taking them to see Santa. And we're so excited because then when we get home from the party, it will smell like magic, and we'll turn on a Christmas movie and make some hot cocoa, and... Just love the Christmas season. This one's only at 118, 120. So I like using a meat thermometer because that one looks done, but it's still only 108, so it's got a ways to go. Okay, that one is about done. Okay, so we have all of those done. We're getting ready to plate up everything. Um, one thing I love to do when I cook uh, a meal is make up lunches. So what I did tonight was I cooked an extra piece of fish and then I just have a whole bunch of containers that I have in our freezer. So the night before I go to work, pull one of these out, put it in the fridge, and that's my meal. And it makes it so convenient for lunch because I'm never tempted to get takeout. I know I have something healthy and I know it's going to be good for me. So that's just one of the little shortcuts that I do that I absolutely love. And it's kind of funny because my coworkers know, of course, that I do it. And they'll always ask me, hey, so what's for lunch today? The cool thing about it is even though all these are the three same meal, because I make up three, four meals at a time, I can mix and match so that I'm not eating this three days in a row and just pop it into the freezer at times I've had up to 20 containers in the freezer that I can select from. Makes it super, super easy. And completely unrelated, but I just realized you're wearing your Harry Potter shirt. Yes. And I'm wearing my Star Wars shirt. Yes. So <laughs> our house isn't decorated in Star Wars and Harry Potter just for fun. <laughs> That's true. And I have to admit, I know I'm not looking my best. I'm still having a stinking sinus infection. I feel horrible today, but I was super excited to make this recipe. Wanted to get it out and share it with everyone. So keep that in mind as you look at my death, war warm, death warmed over face. Yeah, we've both been pretty sick for like two, three days. So Ugh. first we go. bite. Luna's excited. <laughs> She's always excited. Very good. Very good. Yeah, I really like that. How can this be good for you? It's that good. Like, that's how I wonder, what I wonder all the time when we eat this food. How can this be good for you? Because it's so good. <clears throat> well, I'm gonna try it too. Notice I'm not having any broccoli, because I still don't eat broccoli. Because it hurts my gut. Um, and I don't eat rice very often, but on occasion I do, and of course the basmati Even before we started this diet, this was our favorite rice and you can buy it in like 25 pound 50 mm -hmm. pound bags So that was not a change for us. We were already eating this rice because it's our favorite And I only got a little bit of fish because I was a little nervous. I am not a fish eater like uh, tuna fish and like salmon <laughs> That's about the extent of it. This fish is so good. I've never really been a fan of mahi-mahi, so we'll see. It's actually really good. It's super good, isn't it? I would eat this without complaining at all. And Dave hates seafood. I do. But <laughs> this actually tastes really good, so. <laughs> so I just wanted to say I liked it so much. I went and got, went and got my other half so I could eat it, because it's really that good. <laughs> Two thumbs up. Dave and I both really, really loved it. Um, the Christmas magic is working its way into permeating, permeating the air, making it smell good. We have a delicious meal in our belly and we're taking our neighbor boys to see Santa tonight. How, how can life be better than that? We'll have to add some of that to the video so you guys can enjoy in the fun. Um, hang in there. Keep, keep doing it. It's, it's making a difference. It's changed our lives. We both feel so much better 
and um, we know you can too. So excellent recipe to try and share with your family. They'll really enjoy it. How was the party, guys? Good. Good. Yeah? Well, it's nighttime now. I think everybody's in bed. And as we walk through the house, you know what I can smell? Not fish. Something is sitting on the pot. Something is sitting on the stove, and it's the potpourri stuff. Smells like Christmas. 